This is the sad tale of the township of Dogville. Dogville was in the Rocky Mountains in the US of A. Up here, where the road came to its definitive end near the entrance to the old abandoned silver mine. The residents of Dogville were good, honest folks, and they liked their township. And while a sentimental soul from the East Coast had once dubbed their main street Elm Street, though no elm had ever cast its shadow in Dogville, they saw no reason to change anything. Most of the buildings were pretty wretched, more like shacks, frankly. The house in which Tom lived was the best, though, and in good times might almost have passed for presentable. That afternoon, the radio was playing softly. For in his dotage, Thomas Edison Sr. had developed a weakness for music of the lighter kind. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. My friend, Tom, do me a favor, will you? The radio? Just because the music's over and you might risk hearing something useful? No more words were spoken at the town meeting in the mission house, but it had been decided, they all felt, that the fugitive would be given two weeks, and they would all be able to look at themselves in the mirror and know that they had done what they could. Indeed, and perhaps more than most people would have done. It was in complete silence that the people of Dogville turned up for the meeting at the Mission House two weeks to the day since the beautiful fugitive had come to town. Grace was standing beside Tom, watching them convene. Yet again, 
Grace had made a miraculous escape from her pursuers with the aid of the people of Dogville. Everyone had covered up for her, including Chuck, who had to admit that it was probably Tom's hat he'd mistakenly considered so suspicious. Next day, the weather changed. The fog came rolling down from the mountains. And although there were no sunsets to be seen, McKay thought it best that she sat by him anyway. She had sat by Jack McKay so many times now, but Jack had not got better at judging the distance between them. On the contrary, where fingers alone had previously brushed her young flesh, now it was a hand that remained in place throughout the allotted span. And later, when the truck slowed down, about to reach its destination, and she slowly returned to consciousness, she had no way of knowing how long she had slept. All she knew was that she would be happy to see the light of day again. And then she heard the dog. Whether Grace left Dogville, or on the contrary, Dogville had left her and the world in general, is a question of a more artful nature that few would benefit from by asking, and even fewer by providing an answer. And nor, indeed, will it be answered here. 